Hey guys, Angie Smith here. Um, thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel. So I have my uh, fragrance empties. Uh, I call them weekly. These are probably bi-weekly. Um, I did film the Bring Back My Bar warm reviews, which is the biggest part of what I've gone through. Uh, but I do have some extras that aren't Bring Back My Bar. So let's talk about that. I uh, did warm through the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary iridescent. I have one more warming of this brick. Um, I did throw this in my club. It's no longer available, but I love it. Um, I watched uh, Melissa Johnson Hates warm reviews. Or, no, she got, she cashed in her um, pre-order. I had to remember what that was called. For the castle and the bar or the brick. And um, she compared this to Amazing Philosophy's Amazing Grace, which I've never smelled, but based on her recommendation, I went ahead and ordered like a small bottle of that through Ulta. And if it smells like um, this brick, I'm gonna be so happy. So um, excellent. If you did, if you missed out on this, I hope it comes back for you. Um, so I did. A mix is that in here somewhere 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 um, I do have a few cubes left of Saint Knickerdoodle I know a lot of you liked this scent um, it's went away at the end of the month end of December um, not one of my favorites but I do like it mixed and I mixed it this time with welcome home it did really well in my entryway. Um, it's just the St. Nicodoodle Doodle has kind of like that, like a powdery sugar kind of note with um, some spices. Probably like mold spices is what they look like. But um, it's excellent mixed like with your welcome homes, your walnut raisin muffins, those kind of scents. I, um, Finished up a Fluffy Fleece Scent Soft, which this is the fabric softener for the laundry, as well as a washer with tub. This um, laundry is amazing um, in Fluffy Fleece dryer discs. It's, I love it. Um, I typically use the Fluffy Fleece for my bedding. And then um, occasionally I'll do towels or clothes just if I don't feel like switching out the laundry. But if you haven't tried that, it's amazing. I um, worked through a cotton cleanup pack. I've been using my cotton cleanups a lot more. And it's funny, I had stocked up, um, I think I bought 10 of them. Yeah, I bought 10 when they were $6 each before the price hike came. And then... I know I've gotten like a couple over the past like year, year and a half, because I feel like it's been a maybe year and a half to two years since the price hike. Um, so that I'm down to my last one actually, and I just ordered some more. I do like them. Um, they're just very convenient. You can, several warmers you can clean out at a time, um, and it has a little handle so you don't get your hands all um, waxy from like just cotton balls. So I do like them. Just wish they were a little cheaper. Uh, vanilla bean buttercream is always a good mixer. That's usually what I mix with that. Those are my bricks from Scentsy Club. I just chop them and throw them in those bars. Oh, here's a scent soft in Cloudberry Dreams. Also a good laundry scent. It's very strong. Um, floral. It's a very floral laundry scent. I do like it. I probably would, I would definitely repurchase the um, Cloudberry Dreams. I'm just trying to try up some different ones. So I have Clothesline and Scent, is it Scentsy Clean or Clean Breeze? One of those. Oh, I um, finished up my little candle. Uh, this was a vendor event purchase for me, like a local person who hand makes these on Etsy. I got very good scent throw from this and I love coffee scents. 
I just need to clean this out and repurpose this cute little cup. I think this is a decorative cup, though it's not really for um, like other uses or anything. So we'll see. Um, this was fantastic. L3 Waxy Wonders Escape Room. It's peppermint whipped cream sugar cookie royale. It is a scoopable wax, which is really soft. It's super strong. This is an excellent peppermint scent. Fantastic. I would repurchase, definitely repurchase that again. I put frosted vanilla into my um, car. It's doing very well. Love that scent. It's kind of eucalyptus-y, but sweet. And I took out um, pine, cinnamon pine cones, which was a fantastic performer in the car. It's a fantastic performer in wax. And it's a fantastic performer in the scent circle. That was a good two weeks. All right, um, Wild for Fall. I love this scent. This was part of the Harvest Collection, but it is like a tree, like winter tree type scent. And it has some orange to it. Um, I am finding the longer that these sit, they are getting more of a pine sole, kind of pine saw, pine sole, pine saw note, which is, uh, which, um, what's the one? Plaid? Plaid? I can't remember the name, but it's like plaid. Um, it was a scent, it was like a scentsy brick. I think it was a scent of the month at one time. Um, it's getting on the borderline of that, which I like. It's just, I know some people don't like that scent. I just thought it was odd. This, the longer it sits, that's kind of what I'm getting from this, but it is super strong. It is in my club currently. Um, I put a couple of cubes. I had a couple of cubes left and I put it in the bathroom and it was, it was good. It was good. Yeah. I'll, it'll probably stay there. I don't know. I have like three tree scents. And so I was trying to debate, like, um, do I get rid of some? All right. Super good mix. I've, you've seen this from me before. I, um, did it large scale though this time, uh, which means I went in the open concept with this mix. Lemon, coconut, chiffon, and gimme candy. Two scents no longer available, both in my Scentsy Club. It's fantastic. It's, it's amazing. It is like a bakery lover's dream mix. It is fantastic. If you have these two, I would highly recommend that you mix those together. It's fantastic. The creaminess and butterscotchness of the gimme candy with the sweet lemon coconut chiffon. Oh, I could see that being a dessert. It's fantastic. Yes. More of that. Uh, Born to Shine, oh, which I'm still working through these Glamorous U bars that I had purchased so many of in a flash sale. Um, it's just like a it's a perfume. It's a perfumey scent. It is pretty, but um, I did not club those scents, and I have several bars of them. Sun ripened berry. I think I had like one cube each, and a and a couple of clams. And I was like, let me just go ahead and use these two up. So I put this in the entryway, and I do love this scent, but I'm finding it's very summer oriented for me. So I have it in my club. It's like juicy berries with sugar. Imagine like a bowl of berries and you have sugar and that sugar like makes all the juices kind of melt off and it's just like sugary and juicy. Um, that's what this smells like. It's fantastic. It's a super performer. It's just that um, it's, it's summer. So I think this is more of a summer bar for me than it is like um, winter. But I do like, you know, I like it. 
Seasons of Magic. This is my other tree set in my club. I had to pull that out. It is, it's not going anywhere. This one is fantastic. Oh, it is. It's, it's like sugared vanilla with tree. It's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And it's strong and it's super long lasting. Um, if you missed out on this Disney season of magic, hopefully it'll be back next year. Cause I think this was the second time it's been in out this holiday. So hopefully they'll bring it back for a third time. It's fantastic. Uh, pink sunshine. So I guess let's talk about the Valentine's collection. I forgot I had these in here. Um, let's go ahead and finish up these two and then we'll talk about the Valentine's collection. So, um, vanilla mint, which did not return in the catalog and I did not club it. Uh, primarily I did not club this due to, um, it's just not super strong. I like it. It's good for like a small to medium kind of area. So I think I did this in the bathroom and it was excellent in the bathroom. That might be my last bar. We'll see. Glacier Water, which was a scent of the month, I think, for August. Um, it's um, just like a fresh aquatic scent. Um, was not one that I clubbed. I just have bars left over from my scent of the month kit. So I'm just, you'll just see me working through these um, probably through the summer just to use those up. All right. Valentine's Day collection. So, um, consultants were eligible to purchase a early release kit for Valentine's Day. So, that's a three bar collection. It came out um, January 1st. So, these bars are currently available to everyone. And let's just talk about um, scent performance on those. You have to buy them as a three pack or you can throw them individually into a Scentsy Club if you want individual bars. Um, so Pink Sunshine was the first one I pulled out. So let's talk about this. And I don't have the scent notes on this bar. Um, I don't have, I only have them on one of the bars. But um, I wanna say it was like, like Lush Pear, and a couple other things. I think maybe rose was mentioned. You do not smell rose at all in the scent. What I do smell is, and I don't know. So I guess the same day I was warming um, crayon apple, was it crayon apple crumble? And I mixed it with crumb top and my bring back my bar warmings. I had that warming in the open concept and then I warmed this in the bedroom office area while I was working all day. And this was fantastic. I didn't like it on cold and it wasn't as much on scent appeal for me on cold, but warming, it was strong, room filling, and it was gorgeous. Um, I don't know if some of that crayon apple crumble was wafting in. So I am going to pick up a few more bars and try this out again. Cause I don't know if it's club worthy at this point, or if I just want some more bars. But um, I guess where I'm going with it is, I think I might mix every other warmer because I, again, I think some of that crayon apple crumble was coming in to mix with this pink sunshine. But I think I'm gonna do every other warmer crayon apple crumble, pink sunshine. And I think that's gonna be fantastic because there's something that reminds me a little of crayon apple crumble in this. Like this is more perfumey and crayon apple crumple, which I have right here, is bakery for sure. But man, the two of those together, amazing. So. I will let you know um, on my next warmings because I'm pretty sure I'm going to do um, that plan. I don't think I'll do same to same in the same warmer. I don't know. Maybe I need to test it. Maybe I need to do same to same warmer, one to one, and then every other 
So maybe one week I do one to one and the next week I do every other kind of thing. But I think those two mixed together, oh, that's gonna be amazing. So just a side note, I haven't done this yet, but um, with those complementing each other the same day I was warming them, it was amazing. Um, I do recommend this pink sunshine. I found it to be um, very good on scent appeal. It was a good scent throw. And um, I think it's one that a lot of people would like. So that's pink sunshine. Let's talk about the one I did not like. Um, so a lot of people I've watched do like this one. I do not like it. It's Clementine Blossom. It's the orange perfumey scent of the bunch. It's very, very light. I, even in this clam right now, I can't hardly smell it. But um, it's Golden Citrus Pink Nectar Sugar Blossom. Super, super light scent. Um, if you like orangey light scents, this would be one for you to try. So don't take this to heart that I'm saying this, but I put that it smells like a orange powder drink to me. It's powdery. I said like tang. So it's a, it smells like an orange powder to me. It's, it is powdery, light powdery floral. And that's, um, Clementine Blossom. And then, um, this is my standout one. I don't know that pink sunshine. It's kind of won me over too, but, um, Starburst Sky. Oh my goodness. This one is amazing. It is beautiful. It is lighter, um, but it is very perfumey. So even if you like light scents, you're going to have to like, like perfumey scents. It is beautiful. Um, I don't have the scent notes right now, but um, I've seen, which I have not tried these perfumes, but um, I it's been compared to like, Ariana Grande's Cloud, and um, is it ba Baccarat Rouge, which I'd never heard of before, 540. Um, I did look up reviews on that perfume, even though it's really pricey, um, a lot pricier than I've ever spent for perfumes, but it's going on my wish list that I want to try at some point because the reviews were phenomenal, and for an expensive perfume, it's probably pretty good. Um, but it's gorgeous. And if it smells like this, I would definitely want to smell like this. This is one I wish since he would come out in like a fragrance, their fragrance mist. Oh, this would be fantastic. Um, the closest thing that I could think of that I personally have smelled. It's a little, it's it's not necessarily full on like pink chiffon, like from Bath and Body Works, but it's giving me those vibes. So if you like like pink chiffon, I think you would like this. And then uh, maybe the fire, is it Fireside Flurries a little? Like it's kind of got those vibes too. Each ones are d different, but it's kind of along those lines where I think if you like those scents, you would like this. Um, like I said, it is a lighter scent, so you would probably want it in a smaller space, bedroom, bathroom type area, but to me, it is beautiful, and it's definitely a repurchase for me. Starburst Sky, I even picked up um, the hand lotion from the Valentine's Collection, so hopefully that'll be that party that I closed out will be in this week. So that's the Valentine's Day collection. Like I said, I love these two bars, the Pink Sunshine and the Starburst Sky. Um, I'm not a fan of the Clementine Blossom. So there you have it. There's everything um, that I've gotten through besides Bring Back My Bars this week, um, past couple weeks actually. Uh, check out my Bring Back My Bar warm review and that'll go more in depth on those bars. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you've been warming, what you think of the Valentine's Day collection. And as always, I will see you on my next video. Thank you.